This video is presented by Glenn Smith Chevrolet GMC in Opelika. Get ready to smile. Hello, baseball fans. You're watching On Deck with Tyler Redman. Willie Adamas, currently a Milwaukee Brewer, of course, will be a free agent at the end of the year and has been linked to the Braves. And Willie Adamas had a great year so far. 252 average, 333 on base, 801 OPS, 30 homers as a shortstop. That's really respectable. There's just one problem. Orlando Arcia is still on the Braves and will be on the Braves through the end of this next season. So what are the Braves to do? All right, because you could upgrade, no doubt about that. Uh, Adamas, very solid player, um, but he is going to command a huge salary. 150 million plus across six, seven, eight years, I would imagine. Okay, it's going to be a big salary. You compare that to Orlando Arcia's salary. Let's see, his his average annual value is 2.43 million. Okay, as opposed to 15, 18 million for Willie Adamas. Okay, well Willie Adamas must just have stats that are jumping off the page compared to Orlando Arcia's. We showed you Adamas. Here's Arcia. 220 average, that's less. 272, that's less. 633 OPS, that less. And 14 less homers up to this point. Now, I get that. I hear you. Tyler, all those stats are better for Willie Adamas. But, but, keep in mind, here's a couple of things. Is it worth another 14 million to have another 14 homers at this point in the year? I don't think so. Especially when Arcia gives you much better... Or, or great defense, rather. Uh, and you can't blame Arcia completely for the year he's had offensively because of all of the holes in the lineup. Arcia performs much better when he has people batting in front of him that are lights out, and you have people batting behind you that are a National League MVP in Ronald Acuna. That has not been the case this year. He's been asked to step up. Uh, he's not that kind of a role player. In my opinion, I don't think the Braves ever expected him to be or have to be. Um, so I don't think they're going to walk away from him now. And really, another key factor here is I'm all for upgrading. I'm all for going to get somebody that will make a difference offensively, will make a difference uh, to the structure of the team. I really liked the Sean Murphy move, for example. I really liked the Matt Olson move. Uh, if you couldn't get Freddie, I really like that move. So I'm all for all of that. The problem I think you have with Adamas, as good of a year as he's had, as good of a player as he is, he's also 29 years old. And I don't know that I want to throw $150 million to $200 million, uh, for however many years at a player that's 29 years old. Now, that's not old. I'm not saying it's old. I just don't know if I want to throw that much money at a player of, of that caliber but also at a player of that age. I just don't know. And there's reasons for that. If shortstop was our one and only weakness, I wouldn't necessarily have a problem with it. But the problem with that argument is it's not our one and only weakness, right? We've mentioned earlier, we have injuries everywhere. We don't know up from down because we're covered in so much injury. We don't know what's going on uh, with this team right now. And I don't know that getting a free agent shortstop is going to be the answer to that. That's just my take on it. Glenn Smith Chevrolet GMC presents a fantastic lineup of popular full-size SUVs and mid-size trucks. Compare side-by-side. -side. Take your choice from new Chevrolet Tahos and GMC Yukons discounted up to $7,000 off. Or Chevy Colorado and GMC Canyons discounted up to $5,000 off. Experience unmatched durability, powerful engines, and advanced technology. Choose your perfect vehicle today at Glenn Smith Chevrolet GMC in Opelika. Get ready to smile. Let's think about how much would an additional shortstop or a replacement for Orlando Arcia in Willie Adamas really help the Braves? Well, let's think about what will be back, right? You're going to have a lot of these problems fixed by themselves. You're going to get Strider back. You're going to get Acuna back. You're going to get Austin Riley back, maybe even before next year. Same with Ozzy Albies. You're going to get all these players back. That's four major forces on this team, back for next year. Uh, what's leaving? Well, Morton could retire or leave in free agency. 
Max Fried could leave in free agency. So you're going to have to address the starting rotation. Now you'll get Strider back, and Reynaldo Lopez and Schwellen back have been very good. But that's still, you're going to have to at least get one starting pitcher prior to next year, right? Uh, let's think about the bullpen. Jesse Chavez is a free agent. He could resign, or he could retire, or he could leave in free agency. There is always that possibility. A.J. Minter is a free agent at the end of the year. You have to consider that. Um, and Adam Duvall, lastly, is a free agent as well. So, to me, you have mainly a pitching problem. You're going to have to get a starting pitcher, more than likely, either by signing Max Freed and or Charlie Morton, or going out to free agency and getting a starting pitcher. You're going to have to get a couple of members of your bullpen. That is a priority number two. Um, I don't think shortstop is a priority. I don't, especially when you have a guy locked in who, all things considered, has been really solid defensively, and there's no argument there from anybody, I don't think, who, you know, offensively, sure, there's a question mark, but he's meant to be your nine-hole hitter. He was never meant to carry this team offensively. That was not the structure of this team, and it won't be the structure of the team next year. And again, I'm all for improving. I'm all for spending money. It's not my money. I don't care. I'm all for spending money. But I don't think the Braves will do this because I don't think Willie Adamas fits the mold here. I think he's a very good player. I think he'll make whatever money he's asking for. Glenn Smith Chevrolet GMC offers popular full-size trucks with a legacy of strength and durability. Side by side, the new Chevrolet Silverado and GMC Sierra 1500s discounted up to $13,000 off. Or big, heavy-duty Chevy and GMC 2500s discounted up to $8,000 off. Rugged durability, powerful engines, and advanced technology. Choose your perfect truck today at Glenn Smith Chevrolet GMC in Opelika. Get ready to smile. Unless he takes a huge salary cut that he will get from another team, somebody will pay him that. I don't see him coming to Atlanta. And again, the only reason I'm talking about this with you guys tonight is because I've seen this out there. This has been a relevant topic today, um, and I, I don't think they're going to do it. And there's reasons for that. It's not their structure of the team. It's not how they go about things. And I, I just don't think they're going to do it. And if they were to do it, if they were to spend money on a big-name free agent and a big-name shortstop, why would they do it, with all due respect, an expensive aging player? From 29 years old, if he signs a seven-year deal, he's 36 by the end of that, probably more like 37. So I, I just don't think this is going to fit that. And Willie Damas is going to get paid. Somebody's going to pay him. I don't think the Braves are going to want to get in a bidding war. I don't think they're going to want to have anything to do with this. And that's just me. I could be wrong. Uh, they've proven me wrong before, but I don't think this makes much sense, if at all. Especially, again, when you have a guy like Orlando Arcia, who I know has not won everybody over. I'm fully aware of that. But again, he has been great defensively. He has been okay offensively. It's not like he's hitting below 200 and has three homers. No, he's been all right, um, especially when you consider what the Braves don't have this year offensively. He's been really okay. Who he doesn't have batting behind him. I think Orlando Arce has been a lot better than a lot of people want to give him credit for. And I, again, I don't see them replacing him. Now, if this was a year from now and Willie Adamas was out there, you may see it. But the Braves have Arce locked up, and they're only paying him $2 million and some change. They're not throwing that away. They have a good deal there. They had a good deal when they made it, and I don't see them walking away from that. And you may be out there and you may be thinking, well, Tyler, that's stupid. You have an opportunity to go get Willie Adamas and replace Orlando Arcia, who has is not a superstar. He's not a phenomenal player. He's no Ronald Acuna Jr. He's he's no Trey Turner. He's he's not the guy. The Braves have their guys. Right? They're Ronald Acuna. They're Austin Riley. They're Matt Olson. Orlando Arcia was never expected to be one of those guys. He was expected to be a guy, a guy on this team who can come in and fill the need when necessary. And so far, he has been able to do that. And that's all he was ever expected to be. 
I expect him to fulfill the remainder of his contract, which ends after next season. Um, and I expect the Braves to point their focus towards starting rotation, bullpen, maybe even an outfielder. But I don't expect them to go after a shortstop. I would be very surprised. This video has been presented by Glenn Smith Chevrolet GMC and Opelika. Get ready to smile. Baseball fans, make sure you like and share this video and subscribe to this channel. As always, thank you for your support.